Mac, we've got the app um, on all of these iPads. You just pull it up. Uh, this one, a lot of times we'll set up uh, maybe 30 minutes in advance of groups coming in. You will wanna go back through and check because we'll do Bluetooth uh, connection, but it will time out eventually. Um, so uh, after you have gotten them all set up, uh, right before the group, go back through and just check. Down in the bottom corner, it has the Bluetooth connection signal. So you can see the little white X right now, not connected. The gymware, um, the matching one should have a quick connect. If you pull it, you get one beep. This means it's Bluetooth compatible. So you'll see a yellow and then this flashing green. Right now you could go into the Bluetooth setting on the iPad and connect it. And that's if you need to reset them. A second uh, pull gets a second beep. That's the quick pair feature. So if they're set up, it should pop up. And you just gotta make sure it's actually at the zero point and click on that zero. Right, and then it has your battery charge that'll show up. And uh, it actually gives you the angle of the cord. So we'll talk about that a little more, but there is a sensor and you can see the cord kind of go back and forth. Or if you zero it wrong, it'll read that the gym is actually upside down when you bring it all the way back in. So just something else, you can always click on it and re-zero. So that's kind of how you pull that up. All of the teams, so if you click on that, you can scroll through and pick which team you're trying to use. And then the second is the individuals. Uh, you also have an add feature for both. We'll show you guys the website as well. Uh, usually we add athletes through the website, but if somebody's not in, in the middle of the session, you can do a quick add. And you click on that, it'll pull up um, where you can add from uh, and all of the athletes currently in there. And an extra plus to create a whole new athlete. So uh, you guys as well, we have a uh, staff or intern section you can add yourself. On the right, when we go to set them up for a team, there's a, a check mark where you can lock in individuals. So right now, if you pick somebody, it'll scroll through the whole team as they're done. If you have two people working at a rack, you can select them, hit the check mark again. And then when you go into the record feature, it'll uh, just switch back and forth between those two individuals, whoever they are. All right, so that's usually kind of the basics of setup for the groups, just making sure we have the right exercise selected, the right individuals. You've also got uh, the bar weight that you can switch between, so if they're increasing, um, having you guys kind of check as far as that they're keeping that up, but most of the athletes, we talk to them about it as well. They should know to change if we're using that for any reason. All right. Some of the different uh, features that we'll actually read out as they go, you can scroll through. So uh, typically for our main strength type movements, squat, bench, uh, we're gonna do uh, mean velocity. For some of our Olympic lifts, we'll do uh, peak velocity. For certain protocols, we'll look at power outputs, and that's where it's gonna be more important that we have the bar weight actually set correctly if we're doing that. And then actually we've even done height for some of our like trap bar jumps, things along those lines. So depending on what we're looking at, but for the most part, we're gonna deal with mean velocity. Um, the other part in here is you can set different targets where <clears throat> for the athletes, it'll blink green if they hit it or red if they fall below. So you can do a whole squad, um, which is the green one. And that's if we get Wi-Fi, all the iPads will be synced. So you just change it on one. Everybody has a group threshold they're looking for, so you can look at uh, an individual cutoff and it'll go across the board. We've got a personal best, so it'll bring up, if they hit a new high, it'll switch it for the next record, show them to try to get that. A lot of times we do that for jumps, uh, so trying to beat velocity. The other part, and I'll show you on all these though, is you can set a certain percentage, so you can have them work off a percentage of their personal best. And then uh, it'll give you a little range and that's the middle part right here. So this, it'll uh, give them a ding or a green number as long as they're within 90% of their personal best. You have their last rep and then just individual uh, athlete thresholds that you can go off of. And for all of them, you can set ranges with the percentage uh, tool. So you would set up here, 
whatever your target is by clicking on the middle, and that's the actual mean velocity that it's going to go off of. So I want them to keep it above 0.47, uh, right? That'll stay in there. If we go percentage, say I want them above uh, or within 90% of that cutoff range, it then gives you a little target range. They'll actually blink uh, red if they're above or below. So their goal is to be right within that range. And then to reset to just a raw threshold, it gives you what the actual target number is underneath as well. Tap and just reset it to uh, 100%. And now you have the same. It'll actually account for the velocity changes that come from a different angle because the sensor reads it. If it's turned off to the side and pulls out that way, it won't because the sensor is just going one way. So obviously, the uh, angle is going to affect the speed of the line because of the distance, and so that's going to throw off your numbers. So biggest thing is just making sure whatever the lift is, you have it lined up uh, this way for it to account for angle changes and not turn sideways.